Hello friends. Today we are going to learn about uh, a topic which is suggested by one of my viewers. So he wanted an e-commerce store where uh, he wants to show the products to the uh, user but he don't want any payment system in his website. So I thought why not to make a tutorial on this video. So in this video what we are going to learn is that uh, after installation of WooCommerce on your WordPress website uh, there is a default payment gateway uh, which uh, which is enabled in your website and without uh, uh, without placing uh, the order or uh, taking money you can't uh, you know get the information so what uh, we are going to do is like we are going to disable the payment gateway option so instead of that what will happen uh, the user will get the order confirmation means the product for which he got uh, means he inquiry the user will get the mail of that thing and the customer will get the information of uh, uh, that uh, this user has inquiry about their product so without wasting a time let's directly go to our wordpress website so this is my client e-commerce website for them i have developed this website and this is a staging website uh, already the website is live on the main domain so i will be doing the practical activity on this website so in order to do that thing we need to add up we need to add a php function file in our website so So in order to do this uh, means option, so so basically what will happen, let me just show you the flow also. So let's see, this is our product. Now there is an add to cart button over here. So we can even change the add to cart button or if you want, you can, you know, leave it as it is. Now the user can see the price, user can see the description, all the details are same as WooCommerce. I have designed this page uh, from the DB Builder. So if you want that thing means how to design a product page or how to design a product category page, uh, you can uh, leave the comment uh, in the comment section so that I will make a tutorial uh, separate on designing a product page using DB Builder. So uh, this is not our topic today. So this is the product page. Now let's say for example uh, the user want to inquire about this product. So what he will do simply just uh, add this product to add to cart. Now the user will go to the view cart section. Now this usuals, uh, the usual uh, means checkout page. Now what, uh, what will happen? Uh, this will proceed uh, the user to the payment means form form uh, form page means form page now uh, user will fill the details and now this is the uh, option where what happens like after clicking on this place order you will be redirected to the payment gateway which you have integrated and uh, right now I have not integrated any payment gateway over here so this page will not redirect me to the anywhere. So what we want, see this is giving an error of invalid payment gateway. So instead of that, what we will do is like once uh, uh, the, the PHP file, uh, means the PHP code which we will be using, uh, what we will do is basically will cancel the, the function of uh, redirecting uh, the user to the payment gateway just it will what will uh, what that uh, code will do is simply send the inquiry to the user and the customer means uh, uh, send the inquiry to the uh, website owner and the user so now let's okay so this is our process what we will uh, in order to achieve that thing we will go to our dashboard 
and uh, for installing uh, for adding any php or function code i simply advise you to download a uh, plugin which is a snippet plugin so you can download that plugin and then after downloading that you need to just add new and let's say disable payment k2 okay now what do you now what you have to do is like simply paste this code uh, this code will be in the uh, blog which i will be adding in my website and i will be leaving that blog link in my description so you can simply go to the uh, go to my blog and copy this code and paste it and now just save this change save and activate it now let's see what we are going to uh, uh, what are let's see what are our final results so we will do all the steps which we have done in starting so you know, add to cart to cart Save to check out. Now we will fill the dates. Okay. And now, as you can see, there here it is written place order. So we'll click on this. So see, this is the uh, thing. Now uh, we got this confirmation okay this is an inquiry and uh, the admin will get that inquiry in the order section uh, woocommerce order so see here the name and of name of the user the order all the details he can see from here and a mail will be also sent to a uh, user also that your order or your query has been so hope you enjoy watching this small tutorial like how to disable the payment gateway if you have any concern regarding this uh, video and you want to learn more detail about like uh, changing the button or changing the product page design you can leave the comment in the comment section i will be make if i get like a uh, lot of inquiry i will be definitely making a, a detailed video on that like how to design the a product page and the button and all the things so hope you enjoy watching this thank you